This video is going to deal with uh, our honors pre-calc class and how we're going to work backwards from the given zeros here and find out which polynomial is going to make up the zeros of plus or minus 2 and plus or minus 4i. So the very first thing we need to do is write these as factors. So writing these as factors here, we're going to have x plus 2, x minus 2, x plus 4i and x minus 4i. So we need to expand this. So we actually have to do some algebra here. We're going to multiply this with FOIL and we'll wind up with x squared and then because they're conjugates here the middle terms will cancel out and we'll have x squared minus 4 and then doing the same thing with these two we're going to have x squared for our first and then we're going to have plus 4i and minus 4i so that's going to cancel out and then we're going to have minus 16i squared and then the i squared is negative 1 so that's going to make this x squared plus 16 and then we're going to have x squared minus 4 times x squared plus 16 and then we'll do another foil so we're going to wind up with uh, x to the fourth and then plus 16x squared minus 4x squared and lastly 4 times 16 is going to be negative 64 we'll combine like terms here so our original function that has the zeros of plus or minus 2 and plus or minus 4i is going to wind up being x to the fourth and then 12x squared minus 64. So there's a quick example of how you work backwards from zeros to find your polynomial. Now let's look at another one that's a little more complicated. So again, we need to we have the zeros of plus or minus 1 and 3 plus or minus radical 2i. So if we start by writing out the factors, we know we have x plus 1, x minus 1, and then x minus 3 plus radical 2i and then x minus 3 minus radical 2i. So the quick foil that we have here is going to give us x squared minus 1 for that first one. Now this one's a little bit more tricky uh, but we can actually treat this uh, with a foil too as conjugates. I'm going to rewrite these so that I can group the x minus 3's together. So I'm going to have x minus 3 and if I do distribute the negative it's got to go to both and then minus radical 2i and then I'm going to have x minus 3 and then plus radical 2i. So if we look at this, we have, again, we always have conjugates here, like a difference of squares. So when I FOIL this out, I take x minus 3 times the quantity of x minus 3, and I have x minus 3 squared. And because they're conjugates, the inside terms will cancel out, so then I have this, the last term times the last term here. And this will wind up being a negative 2i squared. And we know that i squared is negative 1 so essentially we're going to have x minus 3 squared plus 2. We now need to expand x minus 3 squared so that's going to be x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 2 and we can combine now and we have x squared minus 6x plus 11. So finally now we're going to take this and the x squared minus 1 that we got from all up here and we're going to distribute that now and be able to come up with our original polynomial so one of the easiest ways we can do it I'll just take the x squared and distribute to everything here and I'll wind up with x to the fourth and then x squared times negative 6x will be negative 6x cubed and then x squared times 11 will be 11x squared. And then I'll take the negative 1 and I'll distribute everything. 
So I'll have minus x squared plus 6x and minus 11. And then we can combine some like terms. So our final polynomial, x to the fourth, and then minus 6x cubed. And then we can combine these here to give us a positive 10x squared plus 6x and negative 11. So this polynomial right here had the zeros of plus or minus 1, zeros of plus or minus 1, and 3 plus or minus radical 2i. So there's two quick examples of working backwards from your zeros to figure out your polynomial.